Today, I have five low cap gems for you guys that I have incredibly high conviction on and all will be top players in the upcoming bull run. I want you all to make money. All right? You guys are all early, so you deserve to make the money. So make sure you stick around. We've got some of the best of the best young underdog projects that are going to absolutely print. My name is Zach. Just remember, nothing I say is financial advice. If you'd like to join the Crypto with Zach Discord server, link is in the description. And also consider joining the Patreon link is also in the description description for that and apart from that let's get straight into the gems all right so the first project we're covering today is gfal all right games for a living and it's currently sitting at a 61 million dollar market cap the tokenomics aren't the best all right i'm not going to uh sugarcoat that they're not the greatest but for a gaming project this is nothing new a decent amount of volume all right and we've been doing nothing but going up all year since launch and what they are, right, they're a gaming ecosystem building and producing games for everyday gamers to play with their uh, project. So right now we have access to four games. We can see we have Elemental Raiders, Diamond Dreams, Jump, Pump and Soccer Legends. And these aren't, all right, these aren't just easy games to play. These do require a decent amount of power in order to play. And they have a bit more of a storyline compared to projects like Octo Games, Nakamoto Games, that sort of thing. And the project, all right, is a very, very good investment. Why? Well, one, it's a gaming ecosystem providing those next level, next generation games in the cryptocurrency Web3 space. They also all right, offer a marketplace, which is currently up and running. And if it loads, all right, when it loads, if it ever loads, there we go. All right, you can actually purchase in-game item and collectibles through this marketplace, which is a nice touch on the project. All right, you can see that they range from all different sorts of games. So such as, you know, games you might play on your iPad or on your computer, you might need to purchase in-game currency or different items that can be done through their marketplace. So, so far it's ticking many boxes, all right? Like we said, it's a gaming ecosystem offering a different utility, but, all right, if we have a look at their roadmap, we do have some decent things coming around the near corner, such as Elemental Raiders launch on Epic Games and Steam, and also iOS and Android stores, which is awesome. Awesome, all right? Going forward, they have big plans. We haven't got the Q, sorry, uh, 2024 roadmap out yet, but it'll be interesting to see what they come up with for next year. So far, it's a very, very good project, and they have done an excellent job not only getting the recognition these gaming projects deserve to have, but also building that early hype. As we can see from the price, it's high, high, after high, low, after high, high, after high, low, and continuously going up. And we can see we have made a temporary high, high, a temporary lower, low. So I'm going to be expecting a new high, high just around the corner. And some people will be thinking, you know, this isn't cheap. But for a gaming project, you know, we have seen these reach the multiples of billions of dollars, especially solid projects with, uh, sorry, solid projects with good backing. And I think GFAL is going to be one of those projects. Let's get into the second coin. So the second project we're going to be talking about today is Tectum. And we have just had a very, very nice pump in the recent hours. And it's looking like we're going to challenge and potentially make a new all-time high in the very near future. We might see a potential retrace, a short-term retrace for that last little bit of selling pressure to die off until we eventually have a solid run. So Tectum, all right, Cryptocurrency Cash, and the project is currently sitting at a uh, $77.5 million market cap with a huge, right, an enormous amount of volume with very nice tokenomics. And by the peak of the bull run, we should have around 100% of those tokens in circulation. And there is a limited supply of Tectum. Around half, all right? Half of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is around 21 million uh, total tokens. And Tectum, 10 million total tokens. So it's going to create that false sense of demand for the actual coin itself. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a very expensive Tectum in the near future. So what is Tectum? It's cryptocurrency cash. It's a layer one and it is a layer two scaling solution. So it is the world's fastest blockchain for all industries. As we can see right here, currently offering 1 million transactions per second on the average and one transaction is one block. So it's also producing 1 million blocks per second. And all right, they are scaling any cryptocurrency they wish to send with 
their projects such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, USDT, okay? They're sending USDT, they're sending Casper. And like I always say, they're sending Casper faster than it can, sorry, than faster than Casper can actually send itself. So that is saying something. And then layer two, their soft note is their, their scaling, all right? Their scaling aspect of the project. They're scaling any cryptocurrency they wish to send. And how this works is they're utilizing something called a soft note, which is actually a, you know, sorry, it's a an individual wallet that can be created and filled with these cryptocurrencies. So how it works is if I want to send USDT, let's say Bitcoin, for example, all right? It's sending Bitcoin 200,000 times faster in peak times because Tectum can reach up to 1.38 million transactions per second in peak time. So it's almost 200,000 times faster than Bitcoin. So if I want to send Bitcoin to you, all I need to do is fill a soft note that is then filled with liquidity that is provided, that is then minted and sent off to the recipient and let's say that's you for example you'll receive that instantly and what it actually is it's a transfer of wallet ownership so i'm not actually trans sorry making a transaction so there is no gas fees involved which is awesome no gas fees we can send cryptocurrency at lightning speed on a global scale that is free so I'm handing over that soft note to you. You take ownership of that soft note which is actually a wallet and you can receive those funds instantly as an excellent idea, and I can see this doing exceptionally well. We can see, look at the chart. It is not, like right now, it's not very pretty because we have had a lot of selling pressure, a lot of fear around this price right here due to this recent all-time high. We can see that early hype has pushed up quite dramatically. Early sellers have sold off. The bottom has been bought. And if you've been following my channel from the very start, you would have had the opportunity to buy this at a derp cheap price and be up a considerable amount right now. And we can see we are pushing up and trying to attack that new all-time high. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to the multiples of billions of dollars in market cap because payment solutions out there, especially in the Web3 and cryptocurrency space, are going to do very well. And I can see Tectum being utilized at that global scale. They're a peer-to-peer -peer, right, transfer of value, but they're also a peer-to-retailer transfer of value and allow for cryptocurrency payments extremely easily and a lot more streamlined compared to traditional methods. So that is Tectum. Let's get on to our next coin. But before we get into the next coin, make sure you consider joining the Patreon. We have been absolutely printing. Mora was probably one of the top players that we had in December with some of the Patreon members up around the 2300% mark at the current point. In a very short amount of time, all right, and there is a huge amount of benefits that you can get, such as, all right, that's Australian dollars, currently 20 US dollars a month. Here are a few of the benefits, right? So the premium access, sorry, the premium Discord server access, premium members only chat, premium members only Google Meets, all of my current and upcoming cryptocurrency players and players that are currently not out yet, all right? Get early access to all of them. And all of my early calls, my personal portfolio watch list and considerations list, buy alerts, sell alerts, stake alerts, all of the Patreon posts, premium charts, all right, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and market analysis, also exclusive research. I'm sure you can read the rest, all right, and there are more benefits coming in the very near future with a few more tiers also coming in the near future. You will also get access, as we said before, to the premium sections of the Discord server. So you get the premium uh, the premium era, which is just a basic run through of all of the uh, the different sections. My section, all right? So my portfolio, my journal, all my cryptocurrency plays, my calls, my upcoming projects, and any server updates we go through. We also have the premium watch list, all right? So these are the resources that you currently have access to with more coming soon. Buy alerts, sell alerts, staking alerts, my charts and technical analysis. My exit strategy coming very soon, but I have confidence that we're going to be able to call the top of the next ball run. So that'll be really good for pulling out those gains and solidifying those gains. Also, premium discussions, all right? So premium chat, coin plays, training plays, and the rest of that. We've also got shit coins um, and profits. Uh, we have a narrative discussion where we talk about different narratives and different coin discussion areas with other uh, projects. So we can engage in, in solid conversations. The last thing I just want to say is the price that you buy the Patreon at is a price that you are guaranteed for life or until you cancel. So if you purchase it at $20 a month and all of a sudden, a week later, it's worth $25 a month, you're going to pay $20 a month for life or until you cancel. And the price will be rising in the near future. So make sure to check out the Patreon link is in the description. So the next project we're going to be covering is Change, currently sitting at a $51 million market cap. 
and it's probably one of the most liquid and streamlined Web3 decentralized finance apps that the market offers. You can, if we have a look here, download it in the App Store or on Google Play, and this gives you access to a huge amount of benefits. As we can see here, one, you can swap different cryptocurrencies utilizing their bridge, and they're also supporting this for the BRC20 networks. But you can also, in your wallet, hold a various amount of cryptocurrencies out there, and they're supporting a huge amount of chains. So, straight off the bat, the utility is enormous. There is so much utility behind this project, but there is a lot to do. If these guys want to survive going forward, they're going to have to do a lot of work and a lot better marketing. As we can see, it is a little bit of an older coin, which doesn't deter me. We have been in that little bit of consolidation for the last few uh, few years. However, this year we have been really doing nothing but going up. We had a decent dip here and now we pushed up and taken out this year's high. And it looks like we're going to challenge that all-time high very soon. And I think once we push through that all-time high, this is going to absolutely run. We can see it's over 50% of our uh, circulating, sorry, we have over a 50% circulating supply. But that volume, you know, it's a little bit low, similar to GFAL, but that just comes with time. Volume kicks up and down with time and interest in different areas. So when DeFi gets a run, which has been doing pretty good lately, I'll be expecting change to do exceptionally well. But they also uh, provide various cryptocurrency management tools and they're utilizing right, their interoperability, uh, sorry, interoperability they have provided with their project. And like I said, they offer services for a huge amount of chains out there. So the users can fluently and seamlessly swap between many different chains and cryptocurrency assets, as we can see here. And I like the integration with the BRC20 tokens and the BRC20 ecosystem because BRC20, all right, it's only really been known for the last you know six months that this is going to be a massive narrative and if these guys can push that especially going forward it's going to do even better than originally expected so ultimately i think change is going to do very well not only are they offering a decentralized finance app that you can hold a huge amount of cryptocurrencies but also allow for interoperability for users to swap seamlessly between many many chains that they have provided their service for it hits DeFi on the head, and I think we're going to see a very expensive change in the near future with a very solid market cap. That is our third coin. Let's get on to our fourth one. So the next project we're going to be talking about is Mint Layer, which is ultimately aiming to improve not only the interoperability of the BRC20 ecosystem and different cryptocurrency networks out there, but are also aiming to empower DeFi for the BRC20 ecosystem. So Mint Layer. Currently, no, uh, sorry, currently making a decent push to the upside. We could potentially all right, have a shift in market structure, which is what I am thinking at the current point. You can't really see on that chart right there, but we have, if we look at the seven-day chart, taken out these, uh, these highs right here, pushed through broken structure, potentially have a retrace, retest this area somewhere here, and then continue upwards, especially if that BTC ETF um, gets approved which is just around the corner. This could pump in tandem with that. Currently sitting at only a $27 million market cap and around a 20% circulating supply, which isn't too bad. This, uh, sorry, the token release is nice and slow. It's nothing major, but it is something to keep in the back of your mind. But the tokenomics have not stopped me from investing in this project because I know this is going to absolutely print in the full run. I think of it like an injective for the BRC20 ecosystem. And here is why. It's impairing Bitcoin with a sidechain. It's a future-proof blockchain that improves direct token interoperability and ways to trade value, create systems, functionalities, and ultimately participate in truly trustless finance. So what they're aiming to do, right, and how they're doing it is going to do a few things. So it's going to allow projects like Bitcoin and the BRC20 projects out there to reach their maximum potential because we all know that Bitcoin is going to be absolutely enormous this cycle. And with the upcoming ETF approvals, like we said before, and new ways to buy Bitcoin, and with more trust coming into crypto, there is a very unique opportunity to get into projects like this that are looking to empower that ecosystem. And Midlayer are ultimately aiming to do a few things. One, 
to create the ultimate interoperable transfer of value and exchange of value, not only providing lower costs for their services, but also to create a foundation for newer projects and better projects, all right, to have a much more successful time launching. So Injective empowers DeFi and, uh, sorry, and Mintlayer is empowering DeFi for the BRC20 ecosystem. And if we jump into their ecosystem, this section right here is built for developers. There are a few incentives right here. You can pause the video and read, the, uh, sorry, read these if you would like, but I want to breeze through this video to get as much information out there as possible. But they're here for developers, allowing for an easy way for developers to build on top of what Mintlayer are providing to empower the BRC20 ecosystem. So with this foundation, there is a huge amount of things they can do. They can have multiple projects out there doing different things in the ecosystem, right? In the BRC20 ecosystem, ultimately creating a huge and strong, a strong area, right? Around Bitcoin and around BRC20 projects, ultimately aiming to increase the efficiency of the network. But they're also all right, here to empower the tokenization of finance and different assets out there going into the future. But most importantly, all right, and as we said, they're here to empower DeFi with their next level, uh, sorry, with, with next level all right, technology. Because what they're doing is they're empowering Bitcoin, like we said before, with a sidechain allowing for new projects out there to develop easily on top of it. There's a few advantages. You can pause the video and read uh, this, but basically it's a tokenization ecosystem. So tokenized equity, real estate, that's that real world asset part of the uh, of the project. The more narratives you can have in one project, the better in my opinion. And other holdings in primary and secondary markets using a legally compliant technical architecture. As we said, Empowering DeFi, all right, store your assets, lend, borrow, and trade on a single network with a wallet that gathers everything in your hands without giving away private keys and ultimately here to empower the transfer of value and exchange of value. So two-way pegging allows cryptocurrencies from various blockchains to interact on a single protocol. With inherited Bitcoin functionalities, Mint Layer offers higher throughput and uh, lower cost for all transactions. So it's here to empower the BRC20 ecosystem. It's an excellent project. I've heard from a few crypto gurus out there this is going to do exceptionally well and they back it with their life. And I think this is going to push and create a huge market cap, but not only a huge market cap, not only huge gains, but a huge, you know, a huge foundation for the BRC20 ecosystem. That is Mintlayer. Let's get on to our fifth and final coin. So today's fifth and final coin we're going to be talking about is Polytrade. We've covered this a little bit on the channel. So I'm going to keep this nice and brief for my returning viewers. And for my new viewers, you'll get enough info to know about the project. So you can go on and do your own research about it. But basically what Polytrade is, it's a real world asset play. And we'll go into this in just a second. But right now we're sitting at a $26 million market cap, almost $27 million in market cap. And a decent amount of volume, right? A good amount of volume for the market cap. That's around 4% of that market cap flowing in and out over the last 24 hours. And our circulating supply is around that 31% mark, which is pretty good, all right? Pretty good in the cryptocurrency space. It's going to be a slow release. I know what people are thinking like 31%, that's quite low. But if you think about it, if you're not going to invest in a project because of its tokenomics and that project goes on to do huge amounts of gains, then what is the point of investing in a project that has a, uh, sorry, that has 100% circulating supply that doesn't produce those gains? And Polytrade is going to do exceptionally well, and here's why. So what is Polytrade? All right, I said we get into this. Polytrade is an on-chain real-world asset marketplace hub right, for all of your investing needs and they're currently offering services from trading finance to real estate services different types of loans including vehicle loans services for collectibles services for bonds other financial services such as equities and much more and it's doing it from a single point of entry which is the dashboard you can see right here and a single point of entry makes it extremely easy for investors to invest in real world assets. And what this is going to do is it's going to expand the capabilities of blockchain technology that we know and use today to that next level. If we can invest in different assets out there in the real world from a hub, right, such as Polytrade, utilizing their dashboard, this is going to, like I said, increase the capabilities of investing that we can do in this, uh, sorry, in the decentralized world. They also 
offer optimal interoperability and interoperability is going to be a massive narrative this cycle there's no point having a million different blockchains out there if they cannot interact with each other what is the point so it's allowing for investing opportunities across many different chains out there from that single point of entry and they also are offering transactions and investments to be simple and seamless through their provided technology so let's cover the real world assets. All right, real world assets last cycle didn't get the pump they deserved. And we can already see that the hype is building around the real world asset sector, as we can see from Polytrade, as we've seen from Realio Network. And if we can expand the capabilities of blockchain investing, this is going to do exceptionally well, especially with their vision. And I can see real world assets having an exceptional push this run, just like AI last cycle. AI was around, but it wasn't that hot narrative. Now, no, sorry, now AI is getting spoken about, and now AI is going to pump. Real world assets are getting talked about, and it's starting to increase in popularity as we move forward. And all of our real world asset plays, when that narrative is hot, will move up in tandem. And I can see Polytrade doing exceptionally well, as when we had that early, sorry, that recent. Right, real world asset push such as Relio, such as Polytrade, such as other real world projects. Sorry, real world, uh, real world asset projects out there. I think they will all push in tandem, and we can see it's had a huge push. And I'll be expecting the next one to be even bigger, potentially making a new all time high. That is Polytrade. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. That is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like and subscribing for regular uploads. And also consider joining the Crypto Exact Discord server to collaborate with like-minded crypto investors. And if you want to get that easier access to talk to me and those huge amount of benefits that we talked about earlier in the video, consider joining the Patreon link is in the description. Apart from that, I hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas and spent it with those that you loved and had an awesome day. More videos coming in the near future and more live streams are coming in January. Apart from that, I hope the markets have been treating you guys very, very well and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.